Welcome to Picture Healer channel. Today I'd like to talk about the art and the sculpture you display at home and how they affect your energy and your luck. In the ancient China and many other countries, people believe everything holds certain energy and they think there's a spirit in everything. For example, a tree has tree god, a stone has stone god, in today's turn, people can argue that everything has certain electromagnetic field, and you can change your own energy or the qi by surround yourself with different objects. We are still very far away to find out all the science behind it, but we know certain objects make us happy, change our mood, and certain objects can make us feeling down and sad. What we can do is to examine our surroundings and check to see if there is a problem with our current display and do we need to update it to reflect a positive image we like to associate with. More specifically, I'm talking about paintings, print, drawings, photography, and any image. And the other category is uh, sculpture, statues, and the other type of objects you display. Today I'm going to focus on the negative art and the statues we should avoid. I have six types of arts that you should pay more attention. The first one is about animals. And when we talk about animals, we think about the 12 Chinese animal signs. And we have a basic chart of the 12 zodiac signs in the certain relationships. A lot of animals are not in the 12 animal signs, but it can be considered related to the 12 signs. For example, the rooster is related to other birds, maybe phoenix, peacocks, we can categorize them together. And the cat can be put into the tiger family. So it doesn't mean exact the 12 animal sign. And the number one thing we try to avoid is uh, conflicting animal signs. So that's 180 degree directly across in this chart. For example, the rat and horse are opposite. So if you are the animal sign of red, you try to avoid a lot of horse images or statues in your place. And if you are the horse sign, you don't want to have a lot of art or images related to red or mouse. Generally, it's not a big problem if you only have one of two animals that's opposite from your own animal sign. It becomes a problem when you collect too many of the animal sign that's across from your sign, or when the images or the statues are kind of negative. For example, if you are a monkey sign and you have a lot of images of the tiger showing the teeth, trying to hunt, that can be a problem. So if you like to collect a lot of the same item, then make sure it's not harmful for your animal sign. The second category is the art that's frightening or scary. For example, some wild animals that's ready to attack, maybe a lion, a tiger, a snake, or a crocodile. Those can cause tendency for accident and injury if you stay there for too long. And depends on the position of the artwork, if it's closer to your bed or facing where you sit, it can do more damage. The next type of artwork we want to avoid is about the improper actions, such as a painting of war, fighting, or people getting hurt or injured or sculptures without head or with broken arms. They can be artistic, but they are not really lucky to display in your house. And this type of art can also bring injury or accident. 
The next type of artwork we want to avoid is any sad, depressing, lonely type of image. A good energy art is not directly related to its artistic value at the art auction. A lot of artists are actually having mental issues. They might be very famous and their art costs a lot, but it doesn't mean it will be the best choice for your home if that's not the energy you want to bring. Some of them have sharp geometric lines or very dark color or just images that make you feel sad and uh, depressed. If you have artwork like that, you might want to put them in storage or display them in areas you don't spend a lot of time and keep them away from your bedroom. The fifth type of artwork we should be more careful is a secondhand artwork, sculptures, and uh, hand-me-downs from last generation or from other people. I have nothing against go into a thrift store and recycle old objects. A lot of older stuff are much better quality than modern version. But sometimes if you want to collect art and you don't know where it's from, such as religious item, a statue of God, a Buddha, or something unusual, you might want to be more careful and try to clean the objects by some type of ceremony some incense, or even bring it to temple or to other professionals to check it up first. If you want to display the secondhand items you are not sure about the history, one easy way is to display it in a bright area, near a window, or with a lot of bright light. We don't want it to be in a dark place. And you can add any red color there even if it's just a red ribbon or red paper, because red color has a lot of yang energy, so that can counterbalance any of the yin energy. The last category is outdated art and sculptures, and this is more subjective because we grow and our taste change, and we want our environment to reflect the best of us and support our goals and dreams. But because we live in the same place day after day, we tend to ignore what's around us. So every couple years, you can examine all the artwork and displays you have around the house and do an update and take down the ones that don't fit your life anymore and replace them with something inspiring and fit your current lifestyle better. The point is to surround yourself with positive energy. So this can be very subjective. Changing the objects around us is a very simple, straightforward, and powerful way to change our energy so we can increase our chance of happiness and success. So ask yourself if the art you display support your current and future life. If not, can we replace with something better? So just be more mindful about the objects you bring into your house. And this can instantly improve the energy of your house. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it and see you next week.